Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a pick a card for what are the messages from Santa Muerte La Niña Blanca. We have two piles today, pile one and pile two. Take a deep breath, choose from the heart, choose the pile you're drawn to the most. We're going to get started with pile one. All right, guys, if you chose pile one, this is your reading. Take what resonates. These are general messages for a personal reading. Info is in the description box. Moonlight Shadows 1111 at gmail.com. You have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so. Someone is going to be shocked over the fact that you are moving forward. You have a financial blessing coming your way. You are gifted. You are highly intuitive. You have been spending some time alone. You're also realizing that the time is now to move forward, to continue with that project or idea that you have in place. And I'm also getting that... You are going to be re you are going to know I am hearing it's going to be revealed to you with the three 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 angel number possibly or thirty three could be significant but I feel like you are going to be informed of a fake friend a blockage is being removed a path is being made clear someone is going to be disappointed that their little sneaky tricks that they have up their sleeve are not going to work with the star card you are healing you are celebrated. You're also going to realize that someone is going to get some type of karma for speaking badly about you or trying to make you look bad. They're going to be made a fool because your actions are going to show others that you are, in fact, not trying to cause any type of drama. You're not a negative person. This person, there's someone around you that is gossiping and trying to make you look bad. This person will feel stuck because I feel like you are being protected. I do see someone was trying to do some mirror magic or trying to spy on you, trying to block your third eye and make you feel disconnected from your spiritual team. That is not going to happen. I feel that she wants you to play music and continue to be happy to dance. You need to move your body to alleviate stress because that will have your enemies wondering why their negativity or their negative magic towards you, negative intentions, anything negative that anyone sends to you, it will be blocked, it will be removed from you because your vibration is very high. I'm also getting work with a yellow or white candle to bring about your solar plexus and cleansing of your aura. Because I do see here that you may have been stressed out, but it is a lot of people projecting this energy onto you and you do need to cleanse yourself. She's also wanting you to know that it's time to stand up, to speak up, because someone is going to be very disappointed over the fact that they cannot hurt you anymore because you are standing up for yourself you're speaking up for yourself she is watching and she will not allow these people or the situation to hurt you anymore with the six of wands you're going to be moving forward i'm also getting she's allowing your ancestors to come through some type of mirror that you may have in your home this could be on your i heard mantle in your living room in the dining room or in your bedroom there is a significant mirror and you may feel the energy but it is the protection energy of her and her spiritual team your spiritual team is what i'm getting and she is protecting you she is seeing things if she is revealing herself to you it's because she wants you to know something that you may have missed or that you are not aware of and she's letting you know <clears throat> that you need to speak up and continue to con communicate with her I heard, continue to contact me as in contact her. Some of you guys may have contacted me, but I feel like you're contacting her. You're communicating with her, and she is showing you what to do and how you need to progress and how you need to move forward. And she is protecting your money blessings. She's protecting your family, your home, your space. Continue to put the incense. Continue to put the cleansing sprays. Continue to take a salt bath to alleviate any stress for the women out there who may not well i guess this could apply to anyone <clears throat> for anyone who is not washing their hair every day make sure you at least wash it every other day for three days because your crown chakra could be picking up stagnant energy from other people if you are highly sensitive and if you're washing your hair every other day versus every two to three days it's actually going to give you a clear mindset so that you can focus fluoride and <clears throat> clear quartz my voice is getting really dry i'm trying to get the message out but i feel like whoever is watching this you guys could be like feeling her discombobulated you guys might listen, like listening to eminem you could be a aries taurus capricorn virgo 
Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you may have those placements that I feel like you're feeling overwhelmed because you're picking up energies from other people. And I'm also getting you have haters who may talk bad about you, who are jealous of you. Some of them may send you the evil eye. If you do feel there is heavy magic <coughs> that anyone is sending on you, do those candles that I mentioned because it will clear out the negativity and those unwanted energies will not be able to connect with you so do the spiritual bath spiritual shower as well and speak words of affirmation listen to good music dance sing move your body exercise you need to almost like raise your vibration literally physical through physical movement as well as emotionally through spiritual meditation or being in a space of peace and calming energy because you need to disconnect from negativity your spiritual team is here to fight for you she's seeing who's trying to harm you and make you look bad and those people will be made fools because she is reassuring you and everyone here watching pal one that your enemies are not going to be successful with trying to make you look bad because they're trying to make themselves look better by talking bad about you and that is not how it works 555 angel number expect a blessing and significant changes in the upcoming seven days and you will be moving forward and you will be successful if you have a business or a career path that you're trying to have a specific goal with you will be moving forward and attracting more people to notice you here with the six of wands i see a crowd a community who loves you that will be surrounding you with love and appreciation for all that you do if you're in the public like uh, public eye social media you have a following people are going to want to come see you they're going to want to get advice from you they're paying attention because she is helping you to express yourself how you've overcame certain things and your advice is going to be very helpful you heal through your words and your throat chakra your solar plexus chakra your crown chakra your intuition all of the things that people are trying to block and hold you back with there will not be blocked anymore they cannot harm you they cannot hold you back your chakras are not blocked and you are moving forward so that is the message that i have for you i send you many blessings and thank you so much for watching pile one and we're going to get into pile number two hey pile two if you chose this pile this is your reading take what resonates with the page of pentacles someone could be trying to steal from you i'm also getting you need to be mindful of your expenses with the ten of cups you have positive energies around you you have the wow you have the ace of cups oh my so pile two you have someone who loves you i'm getting she loves you you have financial blessing here you have a spiritual protection energy in your home and is creating the energy of peace lots of blue but i feel like this is more communication from your spiritual team your ancestors an ancestor could be visiting you to give you a token of their advice is what i'm seeing but i'm also getting someone could be trying to steal from you or take from you but that's not going to happen because she's cutting out all of the stressful energy if someone felt sick on pile two for the collective write down that you were healthy and that you were healed and work with her because she's going to remove this illness that someone is trying to project towards you because you really are not sick and you're aware of that and with the six of swords she's here to help you if you've seen her with the six of the lovers and the empress she's helping you see the truth about what you need to protect yourself from it's like she's helping you see through that veil what is really going on here in a particular situation maybe you were unaware of something 111 and three of the empress is also 111 and the one of the magician so you guys are highly intuitive and gifted she's here she's giving you messages and signs you may have a grandfather or father figure around you that is also giving you guidance and she is allowing this person to come through to speak to you a white candle is very significant or some type of candle that you have been lighting to her is allowing this person to come through they don't want you to be sad in reality you're actually healing if you have feeling you have been feeling disconnected from love lately that is coming to an end someone could have put you in a box and tried to cause some type of trauma towards you that your spiritual team is here you have a spirit animal or familiar that is protecting you and she is here to cause destruction on your enemies who are trying to shut you up because they don't want you to be successful she's not going to allow this person to control you if anything she is giving you all of these beautiful financial blessings 44 could be significant but i do see her here stopping someone who is trying to steal from you i really am getting that this could be through magic or literally someone trying to steal from you you take what resonates but i do feel like 
you're going to be protecting your finances, your energy, your peace of mind. But I feel like lots of fours here. She is going to protect you from anyone that is trying to do spell work against you. Someone could have literally tried to put you away because we saw that coffin box. Someone could have literally tried to end your life, cause confusion, keep you stuck, keep you feeling unmotivated. This weird stagnant energy, like trying to bind you away from your success, that is not happening here. She is showing you the truth. She is actually coming to you to give you this message of awareness that you need to take action. Do that reversal. Do that road opener. Do that protection. She is stepping in because someone could have been trying to do root chakra. It could be a couple here and she is getting this person away from you and she's not allowing these people to harm you. This could be an ex that you associated with or an ex-husband or an ex-wife, an ex-lover. Someone was trying to cause some type of confusion and stuck energy, trying to delay your blessings because they're jealous of your success. They see you doing better than them. They compare a lot and that has nothing to do with you. This person needs to focus on themselves, but she is going to make sure that this person cannot control you because you are the one in control of your life because your spiritual team, a higher power is in control. This person cannot control you any longer. You've been feeling stuck. She's going to bring forth that clarity. I heard Crystal Blue Persuasions. I don't know that song, I guess. I don't know if that's a, a message uh, that just came through. But I'm also getting it's a symbolic message that you will be seeing clearly now. What you need to do to move forward. You are very strong and she is helping you get that strength. She is revitalizing you. And for that, you should be extremely grateful. There is a money blessing here with the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to have so much money, you're not going to know what to do with it, pal, too. And with the full card, this is a new beginning. You're going through a transformation. You're listening. You're embarking on a new journey. It's a little bit scary, but it is exciting. As long as you have faith in her, the blessings that you seek will definitely be with you and surrounding you. You guys have been leaving some type of smoke offering besides incense. She likes that, and she thanks you for it. The candles that you've been lighting, I heard you got two more to go. Because you've been doing it consistently if you haven't light her three white candles three days in a row and you will see how much you can communicate more with her because she is with you her hand is on your shoulder you feel her icy bony hand on you but it's nothing to be afraid of it is her showing you that she is connected to you she is guiding you she's behind you she is your protectress she is your mother nurturing loving energy she surrounds you with so much love and joy do not be fooled. Do not let the enemy connect because you are the one who gives them access. So you need to be strong and you need to remember that she is with you. because She will not allow this nonsense to take place any further. <clears throat> so that is the message, you guys. I have goosebumps all over me. I wish you guys could, like, see. But it's just, it's crazy. Like, the, the energy of her is very strong, very beautiful, very powerful. So if she is around you and her energy is much stronger these past couple of days it's because she's telling you that it's time to get to work and focus with her a little bit more than usual because there's a spiritual battle going on and you best believe that she's not going to allow anyone to hurt her child so that is what i have for you and her child meaning the collective those who follow her let me know if that resonates please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye guys